Welcome guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create the player controller with custom hands, with a custom grab system then in the next tutorial which I release right after this one I will show you how to add a gun with a reload system to this uh, player controller if you have any issues following this tutorial this full script or project that you saw in the intro is available for download on patreon.com so you can just download it launch it and start building your game straight in here um, like and subscribe and please consider supporting me on patreon thanks guys so i'm using unity 2018.4.16 f1 this is the latest stable version lts uh, and you can use this version or probably any other version too there should not be any issues but i recommend you using the latest stable version the one named lts second I'm using Oculus Integration 1.42, so not the one in the Asset Store, but you have to Google Oculus Integration Archive. Click the top link and you will be here. Here you can select older versions of the Oculus Integration. Use 1.42, agree and download. Once you downloaded it, you go to your assets folder right click import package custom package and find the download you just did once that is done you will have this oculus folder and you are ready to go it will be the same as using the asset store but you will have an older version instead that will work a lot better search for the ovr player controller and drag it into your hierarchy you see I have it right here then select the left hand anchor or find it and search for custom hand left drag it as a child of your left hand anchor you see I have it right here as a child of the left hand anchor then search for custom hand right spell it correctly and drag it as a child of the right hand anchor then select custom hand left and make sure you have a rigid body that is kinematic and has the same settings as me deselect the OVR grabber script by with disenable it so it's not used we cannot remove it because the hand script needs the OVR grabber script but we're not using it at all I do not like this script I made my own instead that is I think is better make sure you select the left touch controller on your custom hand left create a line renderer by add component line renderer and add it make sure it has the same settings as me then create a custom grab script by do add component custom grab new script create and add select the right hand and do the same thing make sure you have the right touch as controller on the hand and add the custom grab script now you can double click to open the custom grab script so copy this script and as I said before the script and even the full project is uh, available for download at patreon and you find a link in the description but just copy all of this exactly like I have done Now you want to make sure that whatever you want to grab 
is on the layer grabbable which should be 9 so add layer and number 9 call it grabbable you could use any other layer if you want but then you have to change the bit shift in the script right here is 9 so if you do layer 12 this will need to be a 12 instead but I'm using 9 so use 9 so to test out the script I suggest you add a cube to your scene or whatever some kind of object make it a little bit so smaller like that make sure it's on the grabbable layer make sure it has a box collider and a rigid body next go to your custom hand start with the left one and uh, we need to add the ray cast position to the hand so this is just an empty game obje object that I, I have named raycast position and I've placed it at the tip of the index finger and I've done the same for both hands and this is where the green line the indication that you're pointing at something you can pick up will originate and will go straight forward along the blue the C axis for about two meters right now you can change that in the script if you like once you have added that you will drag it to a raycast position slot you will take the other hand so if you're on the left hand you take the right hand and you drag it to the other hand object slot if you're on the left you select left touch snap positions so you don't have to deal with this right now do that in a little bit and then you're done you can add a material as well I'm calling this the line render material and this is the green that's applied to the line renderer and you also have to drag the material to the material slot inside the line renderer now I got two I only want it once so it will look like this for you you grab the material oh now it's gone well that's good I can show you you can just drag it straight into here and now if you point at the cube you should get the indication that you can pick it up you won't be able to pick it up right now uh, you will crash when you try but there's only a little thing we have to change add in the script everything is working so if you go in to your custom grab script you could see that the crash happened right here when we're trying to drop the item although we do not have the item really in our hand and that's because it does not have a snap position so inside unity if you open up the left controller anchor this is where I placed the snap positions and this is where the hand and the magazine will be placed inside of the hand so if I will add another one I'm gonna call this cube snap position and I'm just gonna place it right there for now so it will be a little bit above the hand it's not important I'm gonna tag this with cube snap position uh, let's just call it cube snap it's easier 
back in the script. Here we compare the, the tag of the thing we picked up with the snap position to find the correct snap position to place the item in. So that's why the cube will have to have the same tag as the snap position. So maybe I should have called both of them snap instead of cube snap or cube instead of cube snap. But now this is what it's called and now this should work if we make sure that the snap is tagged and the cube is tagged. And that did not work because I forgot to add the new snap position to the snap positions array in the custom grab script on my left hand. So instead of a number two, for you it will be a number one. We'll add one to that. Now we get a new slot in the array. And in this array, uh, in that slot, we will drag in the cube snap position. And now I'm just going to add some material to the cube because I keep losing it. It's white. I'm just going to make it blue. And now I should be able to pick it up with my left hand. just like that I will not be able to pick it up with my right hand because I do not have the snap position on my right custom hand but as you saw the animation for the hand the hand closes completely but we have a big cube we do not want to close the hand completely so go into the script and check out this area. This is where I tell the hand animator what kind of hand animation to play. So I'm gonna add here else if if grabbed item dot compare tag is cube snap. Then hand animator cube hold to true. So now we need to find the animator. Select the left hand, click on the animator in the hand script, and then the animation controller. And this is the only animations I have right now. I have hold gun, which is left hand squirt gun. If you double click this or just search, go to assets, oculus, sample framework, core, custom hands, animation. And you have all the default animations that oculus provides. So I'm using the left hand squirt gun hold to hold a gun to do this you just open it up with this little arrow drag the animation into the scene you can rename it if you like that's what i have done here that's why it's called hold gun you right click on flex or the original animation and if you have any other animations here you can remove them first so it's clean right click on flex make transition Right click, make transition. Now we have a transition from, from the default state to the new state, then from the new state back, and we wanna set conditionals here. So what I have done is if grab gun is true, and here I set it to true. So whenever I pick something up and the tag is MP5K, the hand animator grab gun will be set to true 
which will mean that we will be here and this animation is the left hand squirt gun hold. Whenever I set that to false again and I do that in the script when we drop when we drop the gun right here I set everything to false because we're dropping the item so we are returning to the flex state again and for grab magazine I have grab mp5k magazine true and false to add a new parameter you press this little plus button select bool or inter trigger whatever I'm using bools false true and false values you name it and you just use it like I am doing right here but now we want to do the cube so we're just gonna find something here and be very careful you cannot use the right hand for the left hand animation you need to use the one starting with <coughs> excuse me with an L so we're gonna find something that makes sense for a cube Billiard ball sounds good to me. Make a transition to billiard ball if what did I call it in the script? Cube hold. So if cube hold is true, we add cube hold and if cube hold is true, we want to do the hold billion ball. I'm gonna call it cube hold here. Make a transition back. If cube hold is false, then we do not want to hold the cube anymore. So let's test this out. So first I just made the cube half size so that it's more billiard size because it's the billiard animation we're trying to play now we have the normal animation go here now we have the holding a billiard ball and obviously you need to change the snap position to fit the hand but that's what we're doing that's good see how to change the animation and now it's stuck in this position it doesn't go back to the or original position that is because we never do cube hold false so whenever we drop something that's when we want to set everything to false so if you press play now we go back to the normal position take the gun we have the gun position and we take the the magazine and we have this is also a billiard ball hold see works great and that is it for the grab system and the player controller now in the next video I will show you how to create the gun with the reload system and how to use it with the grab system we just created. If you have any questions, if it does not work for you, tell me why or what's happening in the comment section and I will try to help you. And also, of course, you can download the source code from Patreon. You find a link in the description. Like and subscribe. Thank you.